Good morning. So today I wanted to talk to you about your calling. And I wanted to tell you that it doesn't matter if you come from a Christian family or not. When you have a calling, you will be called at the right time, at the right moment, and nothing is going to stop it. For, we have the example in the Bible about Abraham. Where did Abraham come from? Right? His father's name was Terah. And he was a pagan. He was pagan. He had a room full of different gods. And when I read the whole story, I think, I'm not too sure if it's the book of Jasher or the book of Maccabees. I'm not too sure. And I remember what Abraham did because he was angry because God called him. And he said, wait a minute, this is not the God. This is not any God that is in my father's house. This is a God. So he got angry at his father. And he was older already. He wasn't young. So he got so angry that he decided to go and make him some food, you know. Probably they killed a, he killed a goat and he um, made a stew. And he put it in front of one of his dad's idol. And um, he was debating back and forth because he heard Yahweh already. He heard him. And this one wasn't even eating the stew. <laughs> Like, that's the funniest thing I ever heard. Like, he was waiting for them to eat the stew. He said, wait a minute. Yahweh got in touch with me. Why are these that I made them an offering are not getting in touch with me? So I guess he beat the crap out of them. And <laughs> it was told um, what Abraham did to Terra. And it was just a big, huge thing that happened, right? So, I don't know why people are preaching these things. And that's what makes people say, wait a minute, this message doesn't relate to this. And like I said, this generation is autistic. So they're going to research and they're going to, you know, say, no, this is not the message, the right message, right? And I'm not talking to autistic people only. I'm talking about ADHD, OCD, ODD, all these other things, we have the tendency to research stuff like the Bereans did, right? So yeah, Abraham was raised as a pagan, and I can imagine the temple that his dad had, you know? And um, so yeah, you don't have to be from a background. When you have a calling, you could be atheist, because... You know, a lot of families right now are atheists. But when you have a calling, God will call you and you cannot ignore it. Because unless you think you're going crazy, you know, you hear this voice say, Oh, no, I'm hearing voices. Let me go straight into the, you know, emergency room. But, yeah, um, sometimes religious families are the worst families. Because sometimes when they're religious and then they do evil stuff, you want to run away from them. And some of them don't come back. They die atheists. So I don't know where that message came from. You know? I just, um, since I've been sick, I've been reading a lot. And, um, you know, I'm thinking, okay, why are we in the mess that we are right now? Right? Because of all the things that the pastor's been teaching that the evangelist been teaching. I research on, on YouTube a whole bunch of <sighs> evangelists. I teach, I, I hear um, pastors, and I research prophets. And I already know who is who. So those are the ones that I follow, and I bless them, and I give them a like, so their channels can grow, you know, so they, the message could go out more. But yeah, you don't have to be, you could be the, the atheistic, the most atheistic family out there. What was King Cersei? What was he? 
They were worshiping idols. He was worshiping idols, and God used him. King Cyrus, the same thing. Right? And King Darius, that was the one that Nehemiah was the one who cried to him because he was his cupbearer. But I guess Darius was half Jewish, and he felt sympathy for Jerusalem. And he said, okay, I'll give you all what you need, you know? So, yeah, I didn't understand that message. I don't understand a lot of things. And sometimes I just get angry. Like, why, you know? Because I ask my neighbors, oh, go to our church, you know? There's good people there. The pastor's good. And they're like, no, no, no. They're Christian. They believe in Jesus. They read the Bible, but they don't want to go to church because of these messages. And that confuses them, you know? So, yeah, you know, you don't have to come from a religious family. On the contrary, many atheists come out from religious families. So, God bless you guys.